As you reach to push open the heavy door, the coils and whirls of engraved wood dance into a new pattern. The semblance of a face arises, a face that seems to look right through you. Why are you here? Tell me, and mind that you tell me true. Silence greets your answer. In the distance, you hear the screech of an eagle. Worryingly closer, you hear some kind of a moan. Time passes. At last, the lips on the door creak open, and the door speaks. Enter. The face melts back into the wood of the door, and the whirls swirl back into a floral pattern. A loud metallic click can be heard from deep within. Looks like I found Riker's place. He is hoping for a warm welcome. Such indecency. You strike a man in his own household? I can help you with that. I can share my bond with the source with you, fill your well to the brim, make you a master. The rest of the story, well, it's yours to write. You must go to the Black Pits. There's a cavern there. In it, you'll find a stone tablet of considerable value. He points to the location on your map. Bring it to me. Dizziness. It lasts just a moment, but long enough for you to feel Tyrs and Delius' presence. You hear no words, yet understand. It's imperative you accept Riker's bargain. The episode passes. Riker is peering at you intently. He awaits your reply. Now please, don't let me keep you. I'm on the right track. That tablet Riker wants has to be close. More Black Ring. The plot thickens. Be here. I think I made it angry. It sure looked angry. That's a hell of a way to express it. Is that? Oh, void. It is a shrieker. Magisters, what are they up to? He was a 
saboteur and paid the price. Do you want to make the same end as he did? The Magister looks you up and down with utter dispassion. You should not be here. The Magister's hand reaches back for her weapon. Intruder! You shouldn't have come here. a lot of firepower to stockpile in one place. Places like this in books. Never thought I would see something like this in reality. This, this is the archaeological discovery of a lifetime. The curious sculpture comes alive as you reach out to touch it. It thrums with power and throws flickering dancing shadows against the walls. The carving is covered in strange glyphs that feel oddly familiar. They surround a gently glowing stone that makes you think of the night sky rolled into a ball. Trying to read the symbols, you hear a faint whispering at the back of your mind, as if you're listening to the echoes of a past age. Your mind swims, and for a moment, the glyphs become clear. You read, Our first lord's babes with power glowed, our seconds born in blood that flowed. Our thirds young to the wind return, our fourths to glowing flames adjourn. Our fifth lord's cubs with minds were blessed, our sixths had brawn beyond the rest. Our seventh's brood spread from earth to glen, and thus no king shall rise again. You try to hold your focus as the whispering echo fades, but the letters waver, contorting and merging until they're nothing but meaningless glyphs once more. A riddle from the past? Or maybe a riddle about the past. What a way to die, down here in this darkness. Poor soul. Samadia, the mother of wizards. Ah, Tyrsandilius, worshipped by my people. Duna, the stoutest of the seven. No wonder the dwarves pray to him. Zolstissa. The scaled god of the lizards. Ah, Zantetsa, the goddess of mirth, worshipped by imps. The god of the orcs, Vroger. I used to pray to you when I was young. That's it. We're through. What on the name of Lucian's prize pig is going on here? I wonder what they did in life to deserve such a rest of The creature looks down from its perch, trembling. 
It crawled out of that sarcophagus as if it had forgotten how to move its limbs. It turns to you, and you see its face is covered by an intricate mask. As for you, you monstrosity, you were designed to be defective. You were built to die. And I rather think it is time you fulfilled your function. But do not fear. I shall put your sauce to good use. Buzzes with sauce here. Careful. There you are, God Morgan. I'm eager to hear your good news. How marvelous. Riker's lips tremble impatiently as his eyes dart to your pack. Show it to me. Riker reverently slides his fingers across the tablet. Exceptional. Truly, the bond can. Be broken. Our bargain is almost complete. I will teach you what I know. You will be bonded to the source. You will channel it in great volume. Riker closes his eyes and spreads his arms, then begins to recite a vivid incantation. I call to the souls of the dead. Your re Riker's voice grows even louder until his words echo from every crevice in the chamber. Swan and rinse. Crossley and Locke, Quincy, Keller, Harkwood, Haran, an essence yours no longer. Souls and source come forth. Cross to the void so that she might awaken. The words wrap themselves around you, then slip through your pores. You feel as if you could skate upon water or leap among the clouds. You are no longer less, but more. Your well overflows, God Woken. But I will stay as true to my word as I can. Accept this gift from the spirits of the Stone Garden in lieu of the mastery you already possess, and thus I can no longer offer. Uh, but you mustn't leave just yet. There is one other promise I need to keep. A shame it has to be this way. I was just getting fond of you. <laughs> <laughs> 